Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to you about creating a model for your Devo 10 with deviation. If I have the time, I'm going to continue this uh, video with a discussion about the Devo 7E with deviation. So now that you guys have already modeled your Devo 10 and you want to use use it for a lot of uh, different protocols and you get confused about which model you need to use so what I'm trying to do today is I'm going to go through the process of creating a model you need that you can use and apply for all the micro like this maker fire and um, with better flight or clean flight so first of all of course you need your Devo 10 that has been modeled and that has been flashed with deviation software so the first thing that you need to do is you need to understand what a model INI is for. The model INI basically basically comes with channels and the channels transmit the signals to your quadcopter and then it controls the throttle, your aileron and elevator. That's the four channels that basically you can use to move your quad and to fly your quad and in relation to the modes basically that's where all the switches comes in so in this Devo 10 you have this uh, knob two knobs that you can use and you have uh, one uh, two position switch here two position switch here this is a, also a two position switch this is three position switch this is two position switch and this is a three position switch so you have two three position switch and four two position switch the four two position switches are usually for the uh, dual rates that you can set on your transmitter so for example, this one, this is the rudder, this is the elevator, this is the aileron, and, and oh yeah, that's it. The throttle, you don't um, have a switch for that. So, um, in beta flight, or clean flight, the rates are already set using better flight and clean flight software. So you don't really need to worry about setting rates on your transmitter. And one of the reasons is that if you set rates on your transmitter, the resolution of the signal will be affected when you transmit the signal from the sticks to the quadcopter. So it's, it's better that the rates are set in the better flight and clean flight software. So basically, let me go over this again. The sticks here are the four channels. Then you can use all the switches here for, in the case of better flight and clean flight, the different modes, which, is, which are the angle, horizon and acro and also you can add in A mode and the other thing is you can also set up to arm the quadcopter using a switch if you don't set up a switch arming the quadcopter is I think if I remember correctly is you move the sticks either to the left or to the right so most of the time, um, most pilots they use a 
switch to army and disarm it. So in the basic setup, on the only thing that you need are the four channels for the two sticks, one two position switch to arm and disarm the quad, one three position switch for the three flight modes, angle, horizon, and acro with A mode. And you can also have another second position switch to switch on A mode on and off. The reason being that if you have A mode on, it's very hard for you to land. So there's one way that pilots land their quad when they have A mode on is when they get close to the ground, they just kill the quad by disarming it. The other way that you can do it is to, if, if, you, want, if you want to switch off A mode, just use another two position switch and switch it off. Um, so instead of disarming, you switch off A mode and then you can still land it normally. So now let's go through the process of setting up the model for better flight and clean flight. So you can use it for your micro or your mini quads. They are all you need, the, the, the switches and the, uh, the sticks. So what I like to do with normally is when I set up, I want to use the default model for deviation as a setup because it creates eight channels and I think another eight virtual channels. So first of all, what you need to do is you at the uh, at the first screen, you press enter, and then you go to mon when you see model menu, press enter again, and then you go to model setup, and then at this stage, you need to create a model. So if normally if you don't have already a model set up you just go and create a default model by going to reset. Let me quickly say, uh, check this. I have here a model already, so I can do a reset to a default model in it. If I don't have a model, I think what I need to do is go to menu, model setup, load, and then you go to uh, none, where there's no model, and just press enter. So let's go back to uh, mixer, and then you can see that it uses the default model INI which has 8 channels and let me count how many virtual channels I think it's 8 also 9 10 no 10 10 virtual channels I don't understand what virtual channels are now but you don't really need them uh, for your normal purposes. So once you have uh, set up and load the new model, you have this screen. So the elevator, keep it simple. Simple means it's just a normal one to one graph. Same thing with aileron, throttle, and rather, remember the regs are already in the beta flight and clean flight software. So now you need to set up uh, a two position switch. I like to set up the two position switch to arm the quad using this rudder. So you need to go into 
Channel 5 Gear, go to None, press Enter, and then go to None here, and select Simple, and scroll down, as the SRC, toggle the switch towards you, and you can see that it's called, now it's called rather DR1. So basically you have set up a two position switch. So you go up, you, s you press enter, you save it. So now this is a two position switch. I'll show you that it's a two position switch now by going back to the channel transmitter menu and channel monitor. So you can see here channel 5, if I press the switch, you can see the negative 100 goes to 100. So which means that this is a two position switch, it's working. So now let's go back and set a three position switch. Okay, scroll down to channel 6, press enter, and then scroll to none, and choose complex, and then scroll down, mixer, set 3 mixer, and page 1 is the first mixer, so the switch, normally I like to use this three position switch, the F mode switch, flight mode. So what you do is, you go to F mode 1, which is in the middle. And then switch it back, so that it goes back to F mode 0. Hang on. Don't move the other sticks. So now it goes back to F mode 0. So this is your first position. So you scroll down, you want to make this uh, curve a fixed curve. Scroll down, the scale, make it negative 100. So Okay, negative 100. Everything you don't touch. And then you go to page number 2. Scroll down. Switch. You move it to 1. And then now you, you change the curve again to fixed curve. And then you make the scale to 0 so that it's in the middle position. Here. So now we go to page 3 and then you move the stick to F2. Scroll down, same thing. Change the curve to fixed curve. Now we want it up here, which is 100, that's correct. So all you need to do now is to save it. So now you have channel 6, um, which is the um, three position switch. Hopefully I've saved it. Let me just go back. Let me just go back to uh, channel monitor and then see if it is set up properly. So channel 6 is here. So that's the switch. So negative 0, 100. Negative 0, 100. So negative is here. Negative 100, 0, 100. Let me show you. F mode 0, which is negative 100, 0, 100. So the switch is working. 
Now let's go back to uh, model menu again. Go to mixer. I want to set up the last switch, which is the two position switch to turn on and off uh, the A mode. So let's use this aileron dual rate switch. So let's go in. And let's scroll to none, simple, and switch. Just press this down, and that's it. Everything else remains the same. Just press save, exit, model setup, you know, exit, exit again. Go to transmitter menu, channel monitor. Now you have channel 7 here, negative 100 and 100. So all the switches are working now, including this one. So now basically you have set up this switch here for arming, this switch here for turning on and off A mode, and this one is for the flight modes. So I have here, the magnifier that's bound to this transmitter, and I'm going to show you that the switches actually work. I've already set up the model for magnifier. It's the same one as I've just done, so I'm just going to go to the menu, and then I'm going to load magnifier for you to have a look. And also remember, once you set up one model, you can always copy it and use it for other uh, micro or mini. So basically what you do if you want to copy at this screen, you just go scroll to copy to and then it will take you down to the relevant slots. So let me let me do one for you before we show you the maker fire. Yeah. I need to load the previous one that I created, model 5. Yeah, hang on, just let me double check. No, I created model 6. So let me load this. Okay, now the model 6 is loaded. So I want to copy model 6 to a new slot. So copy to. So you just drag this down to number 7 and press enter. So if you go load and check, now number 7 is model 6. So basically you copy model 6 to slot number 7 and then you can use this for other models and you can rename it. So let's go back. I want to load Makerfire and show you the model that I created. So this is Makerfire. I exit. I go to Mixer. So Makerfire, for the Makerfire, the uh, aileron and the rudder is reversed. So that's why you have this uh, quotation mark here. So to reverse the channel, usually you go in and then you just do reverse here. That's all you need to do. So this is the um, two position switch that I created for this one. And this is the channel switch complex I created for this mode, F mode switch. And I created channel 7 simple. Oh, I actually use this one. So never mind, it's the same. Just not created, I use this one. It's the same thing. So let me load the better flight for you. And I'll show you that it works. So this is a receiver. So let me move the uh, sticks. So which means that it's bound. So, if I move 
the um, three position switch, you can see the auxiliary is auxiliary tool. So it's three position switch is actually working. So this switch, the rudder dual red switch, is the uh, two position switch. This is auxiliary one. And the third um, two position switch is I use the elevator dual red switch. So it's auxiliary three. So it's all working. So let's go to mode and I show you that they work. So auxiliary one, remember that is the uh, rudder dual red switch. So this is where I arm the quad copter. And this F mode switch is actually for the different flight modes. If you look at the screen, I have angle and horizon on auxiliary two. And the slider is now on angle on the far left. So if I move this to the middle, it's horizon. If I move this further, it's angle. So auxiliary three is actually the A mode. If I don't uh, flick the switch down, it stays at the far left, which you can see that A mode is not. Uh, is that yellow color? I just call it yellow. And if you turn it on using this elevator dual red switch, it goes to on A mode. So if you want to turn off A mode, just do this. If you want this arm, So all these switches, depending on your preference, you can put them in different ways. Oh, this one is not set, so that's why you see it's not working. Same with this switch. Same with this one. So they're not, they're not used. So this one is fly mode, angle, horizon. A mode. Okay, that's all you need to do with setting up a model for better flight and clean flight.